I want to talk about a few of your cars because these are just remarkable in so many ways. The 1906 Advanced Steam Traction Engine, the 1909 Baker Electric, the 81 DeLorean DMC. I don't DeLorean, have a DMC 12. I don't have a DeLorean, actually. Oh, you don't have a DeLorean? Oh, no. You know, sometimes uh, these websites, I will say at the beginning, this car does not belong to me. It belongs to this guy. And it, it, and then somehow they always think that I own it. No, I'm not a DeLorean guy. You know something? I, I was one of those kids, one of those disillusioned kids by John DeLorean, because when I was an impressionable 13, 14 years old, uh, the GTO came out. And that was John DeLorean's baby. And he had done the Banshee. And he's the guy that made Pontiac, not an old man's car anymore, but an exciting car with the wide track and all that guy, and a great engineer. So he was sort of a hero of mine. And then when he was going to start his own car company, it's like, ah, he's sticking into GM. You know, he's the rebel, you know, all that kind of 60s stuff. Uh, and then, of course, he just turned out to be another sleazy Coke dealer, you know. <laughs> and, that, you know, that's, that, that was such a huge disappointment to me. It, it, just, it, it just marred everything he ever did because, uh, you know, when you're a kid, you just sort of have your heroes. And when you, you, you see your heroes do something like this, it's not a... You're not even selling coke to feed your family, you know. It's not like <laughs> okay, my kid's in operation. I'm selling some drugs, you know. I mean, it was just pure greed. He could have financed his farm or something if he wanted to. And it was, you know, and and then when I saw the movie, which things were even worse than that in there, and I went, oh boy, not a good guy. And it really does. It really was disillusioning. 